We are going to be going over every single tank in the game and ranking them on our tier list. For me, a tank is someone that you pick knowing you are going to be the front lines. You're going to be the one going in the most, probably also dying the most. Just because you have a lot of health doesn't necessarily make you a tank. Brawlers like Pearl, Pam, and Meg, you don't play as a tank at all. You play those brawlers from range, so HP does not equal tank. I also did include a couple assassin brawlers such as Mortis, Buzz, and Carl. I included these, but I didn't include other assassins such as Miko or Edgar because you don't play those brawlers at all like tanks. So that being said, let's get on and let's start with Ash. So Ash is going to be our very first tank of the day. Ash is a weird brawler because I feel like it's either really good or really bad. Ash is really good on modes such as Brawl Ball or Gem because Ash is totally dependent on its rage bar. When you get hits and when you get hit, your rage moves up, which just makes Ash a way better brawler. It's faster, more damage, etc. So on modes such as Bounty, Knockout, even Hot Zone a little bit where the maps are more open, you guys aren't going to see as much Ash because there's no penalty if you die in gem. You just respawn and keep going. But in knockout, bounty, you're pretty screwed. So Ash isn't the most well-rounded, but it is pretty good in the modes that it's good at. So we are going to put it at the start of the B tier to start this one off right in the middle. Moving on to BB, I'm putting no thought into this one. It is going straight into the F tier. This brawler is just not good at all right now. There are a couple brawlers on this list that just need buffs. BB is 100% one of them. There are too many brawlers in the game that have stuns, knockbacks, just ways to completely make BB useless. Now, obviously, you can win games in Heist or something. It's not the worst brawler in the game, but it's definitely one of the 10 worst brawlers in the game, and we are going to 100% leave it in the D tier and not even go too deep into it. Coming up next, we have Bull, and Bull is one of 100% the best tanks in the game. Any tank with a hypercharge is automatically going to be really good, and this one also has that tank trait where if you get hit, you charge some super. You can play Bull on a lot of modes like Gem, Hot Zone, Brawl Ball, you know, Heist, obviously, and even you can make it pull off in Bounty sometimes as well. The combination of Bull, Hypercharge, Super, Stomper, it's just unbeatable, and you know you're good for a couple good supers a game at the very minimum. So because of that, we're going to put it in the A tier. Obviously, if you're Pika, you know, we could slide it to S and you're really good with Bull. But with that said, not everyone is Pika. Some people aren't that good at tanks and it is a good tank. It's just not unstoppable. Coming up next is Buster and Buster is one of my favorite tanks, if not brawlers in the entire game. You can pull it off on basically every single mode. Knockout, Bounty, it works there. Not so much Bounty, but you can make it work because you can stay passive and sit behind your teammates and just charge that super up. You can also make it work, obviously, in Hot Zone, Bounty, Gem Grab, etc. My team even pulled it out in World Finals on Heist. It's a little bit of a tough brawler to use. It doesn't have anything overpowered like Bull does, where you can just click that hypercharge and go crazy, but it's very well-rounded. You have that pull gadget, which is very good, the heal gadget, which is very good, and your shield, which is very good, and you can pierce through enemies, so you can hit multiple targets at once. I'm gonna put it in the B tier, but I'm gonna put it above Ash. I think it's a better brawler than Ash because it's super well-rounded, but it's not gonna be like our brawlers in the A tier. Again, I like to keep my A and S tier super elite, just the best of the best brawlers. Coming in next is Buzz, and now Buzz is a little bit of a weird brawler because we did see in the leak that Brawl Stars posted that Buzz will be getting a hypercharge next update, which means it's going to fly up every single tier list. With that said, the current Buzz in the game is not very good. So we're going to put it in the C tier because it is useful. Like you can do some things with Buzz. I do have my Buzz at 1,400, so it's not like you can't push it, such as a brawler like BB, but it's just not that good. Same issue with BB, a lot of stuns, a lot of knockbacks, and it's just not really good in too many modes. You can play it in Gem Grab, Brawl Ball, and maybe Heist, but that's really it. When the Hypercharge comes out, though, I do expect Buzz to be S tier. If not S tier, then at the very least A tier, so keep that in mind when you're watching this video and when the new Hypercharge comes out. Now, coming in next is Carl. Now, Carl is a really weird brawler, and it's an extremely difficult one to balance. I've been playing Brawl Stars since the very beginning of time, and ever since Carl's been in the game, it's either been really good or really trash. And right now, it is absolute trash. You basically can't play it in any mode and for the exact same reasons why you can't play BB. Stuns, knockbacks, just absolutely kill Carl. The super is essentially useless and the gadget, main attack, and super are basically all tied into one with this brawler. I am currently vouching for a Carl buff because Carl is one of my favorite brawlers and I'm sure it's plenty of your favorite brawlers as well, but 
it is definitely going to be in the F tier. A little bit above BB, but still, the F tier is not so good. Next up is Daryl, and I mean, Daryl, similarly to Carl, is pretty useless right now. You can play Daryl pretty decently in Heist and in Brawl Ball, but anything else other than that is kind of a stretch. I mean, you can make it work in Gem Grab, but it's not even that good. It's pretty good in Heist. If you can get a Daryl on safe, it's going to do a ton of damage. So even when Daryl is bad, like it is right now, at the very least, on Heist, it's still good, and in Brawl Ball, you could still kind of score goals with it. Because of those two reasons, Daryl is going to escape the F tier, and we're going to put it at the bottom of the C tier. But keep in mind, it's not really a good brawler. Both star powers aren't the greatest. Both gadgets aren't the greatest. And this brawler is definitely in need of a balance, in need of some type of update, or at least a hypercharge. Next up is Doug, and Doug is going straight into the F tier. Now, I feel like some of you might say Doug actually is a little bit better than the F tier, but if I'm just going to be honest with you guys, since Doug has come into the game, it has been the bottom five in play rate and win rate basically the entire time. Now, I know there are some useful situations, and if you get up close and personal with your enemies, you can keep cycling that super, and you're kind of unkillable, but besides that one situation right there, it is completely useless any other time, any other mode. Like, it is unreal. So yeah, Doug is good at literally one thing, chaining supers when you're close, but if it's not that, that's literally it. The healing isn't that much. The gadgets aren't very useful, and to be honest, Doug is F tier, and I'm not going to take any arguments on that one. Coming up next is El Primo, and El Primo is a super fun brawler. It's a favorite of mine. It's probably a favorite of a lot of yours, and it is one of, if not the best goal-scoring brawler the game has ever seen. Primo goal scoring is literally unstoppable. You just can't stop a Primo jump. A lot of pro teams pick it, even if they're facing a Shelly, because once you have that jump, there is just no way of stopping it. Outside of that, though, it's not very good. If you're facing some lower tier players who maybe aren't so good at the game and aren't very good at distance control and they let you get close to them and chain Primo supers, obviously Primo can be good. But anything really above 600 trophies and Primo is pretty difficult to push, I think. Now, if you're a good Primo, you can make it work. And it's definitely not an F tier brawler. So we're going to put it in the highest tier of C. Next up is Fang. And you guys already know, I'm not putting any thought into this. Fang is going immediately to the S tier. You can literally play Fang in any mode. If it's gem grab, sure. Go and take all the gems with your hypercharge super. You don't even need a hypercharge to take all the gems. You could do it anyways. But if you have a hypercharge, there's literally no way of stopping it. Brawl Ball, free goals if you guys get a good super. Heist, you guys can bounce off the safe, do crazy stuff. Even modes like Wipeout, Knockout, and Bounty. Fang is still super good, and that hypercharge is one of, if not the best one in the game. There's really no reason or no way you can really argue anything outside of the S tier. So we're going to leave Fang there, and we're going to move on to Frank. Now, though the game lead is Frank, and you would think he would show some love to his own brawlers, Frank is horrible. It is going straight to the F tier. It is a glorified walking supercharge. That's what me and my friends call it. It's literally useless. Like, yeah, you can hit a shot or you can break your walls with super. Yeah, you can make big plays with Frank. No one is denying that. But you can make a big play with any brawler on this tier list. That's what tanks do. It is literally a glorified walking super. If you're facing hypercharged brawlers, they're going to get like three a game. There's just going to be no way you can win. Frank is not good whatsoever. It's usable in Brawl Ball, I guess, or if you want to do some crazy high HP strategy in another mode, sure, that could work, but it's just not good. Please do not queue up Frank with randoms. You are never, ever going to win. Coming up next is the fish, aka Hank, and Hank is actually not that bad. Now, I'm afraid they're going to buff Hank and make it a little bit better than it should be, but right now, I'm going to put it a Above Primo at the very top of the C tier. Now, the annoying thing with Hank is that when it hits one single shot, it does a ton of damage. And you're usually juking that shot or staying out of the range by like only one or two tiles. So it's a very nitpick brawler where if it gets one tile more range or maybe a little bit of a speed buff it's gonna fly up the tiers it's pretty good in knockout and bounty i mean it is usable there which most tanks aren't and then obviously there are other modes such as brawl ball gem grab or even hot zone where the fish is actually really good now the issue is when i say really good i don't mean like meta i just mean it's actually usable if you're somewhat good at the game or good at the brawler itself I still don't think it's very good, but I do think a buff might be coming where it might get a little bit better. So we'll see what happens. But for now, it's going to stay in the C tier. Coming up next is Jackie. Now, Jackie and Bull are very, very similar. And I only wanted one or two brawlers in my S tier. But we are going to put Jackie at the very bottom of the S tier. It is very, very similar to Bull. The reason I like Jackie a little bit more is because Jackie just doesn't feel as clunky as Bull. Like Bull, if you use your super, if you're going for a massive play, you're kind of forced to charge in one direction. So if all three brawlers aren't in that one little area, you're not really going to be able to get a crazy play out of it. 
as we're Jackie, you can pull everyone together if they're not, you know, all standing on top of each other. And it's pretty well-rounded. You could use it in a lot of gem maps, a lot of hot zone maps, and a lot of brawl ball map. Now, it's not like Fang where you can use it in modes like Bounty or a Knockout. So it's a very big tier below Fang when it comes to how good the brawler actually is. But it is definitely still, in my opinion, the second most well-rounded tank and the second best tank, so it's going to be the very bottom of the S tier. Coming in next is a fan favorite, Mortis, and Mortis is really bad, if I'm going to be honest. It's just not that good. Originally, I was thinking I was going to put it somewhere in the B tier, but now, you know what? Honestly, I'm going to put it in the middle of C. It's just not that good. It has one of the lowest win rates in the game, and yes, guys, I'm talking about you. You are the reason for that, queuing up in Brawl Ball solo. Please stop. I do not want to get your Mortises on my team. But besides that, it's actually somewhat good in modes like bounty and knockout where most tanks aren't again it's an assassin so that is kind of why when you're playing it into brawlers like mandy or piper or throwers it's really easy for a mortis to get a kill if not get two three even four kills sometimes with that said though i feel like you need both gadget and star power for the brawler to actually be at its full potential and if you don't have both of those things i might honestly put it in the f tier please randoms it's not good stop solo queuing with mortis coming up next is rosa and rosa easily would have been an s tier brawler and i mean easily maybe two months ago but it's a new time, it's a new day, and because of that, we are going to put it in the A tier. Now, Rosa has a good hypercharge. It got a little bit worse, but it's still pretty good, and it's a really well-rounded brawler. It is very, very good. Same with Jackie on Hot Zone, Brawl Ball, and Gem Grab. You can't really use it on Heist. You can't really use it on Bounty, and you can't really use it on Knockout. But in those other three modes, it's really good. It's not like if you face a Shelly as a Rosa, you just can't win a game. Where if you're like a Primo or a Mortis, there's just no way of winning. You can stay a little bit further away from the Shelly and kind of hit it from like one and a half, two and a half tiles away and still get your hits. And once you get your super, you can tank a lot of damage. And obviously, Rosa is just really good. It has all those good gadgets, all those good star powers. So if you're maxed out, it is a very, very good brawler. And finally, we have Sam. Sam is like the ultimate tank. In my opinion, he has the most HP because he moves faster than all the tanks when he throws the gloves and he can regenerate health when he picks up his glove. So even though Frank might have more HP, in my eyes, Sam has the most HP in the game. He's not very well-rounded, but he's really good at beating what he can. So because of that, we're going to slide him into the B tier to finish that off. I like the way my tier lists look. It's pretty elite at the top. B tier doesn't have that much, and there's a lot of brawlers on the bottom where they should be. 